I know a lot of teams are doing it. Uh, watched a lot of the, the highlights, and I'm ready to get out there and be able to play in front of fans again, play against a really good Moorhead team, and raise money for the Hurricane Harvey. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is something really big we've been waiting on and be able to uh, help help those victims. How important are these exhibition games to really kind of not just get in shape, but just get to get used to the entire process of coming to Rupp, playing games, do it, even coming back here? I think this is great. I mean, it's kind of like preseason basketball and NBA, just seeing where the guys are at, seeing who's playing really well, be able to get a go against somebody else. And I think these are really good for us because they're getting us ready for the first game against Utah Valley. So it gives Coach Cal the idea of where we're at, where we're at defensively, what guys can be able to go out and play with energy, what guys can play a, a good amount of time. So he just want to see, This is, I think it's really good. He just wants to see, we get to see where we're at. So I think this is really good and it's getting us ready for the first game. When he called you a silent assassin, is that a fair description for your game? Oh, that's not bad. Uh, he, I, I'm, not, I'm not big of a talker or yeller or anything like that. I'll talk on defense a little bit, but I'm not, not the type that's going to yell every time I score or nothing like that. I'm really quiet on the court, but I mean, like he said, silent assassin, I'll go out and get some buckets for you and help the team out score any way I can. So. But yeah, I mean, I guess I don't, I don't really talk that much on the court. How would you describe the process to develop that on-court chemistry? I mean, with you know, with so many young guys uh, and, and so little experience on this team, how have you all kind of brought it together in this period? It takes a lot, especially with uh, so young of us. We are one of the youngest teams in the country. Uh, we is the most experienced guy on our team. He's only a sophomore, so we just got to do a lot of practicing, a lot of off the court stuff, going out to dinner, uh, playing video games together, just being able to play with each other so that we know when we go on the court where we each, uh, each other at uh, in practice. We do a lot of talking, communicating. Uh, Quade is one of one of our best leaders. He makes sure that we're all staying together uh, defensively, offensively, make sure that we're staying together. So, I mean, com uh, communication is going to be big for us this year since we're so young. Uh, a lot of us don't really like to talk that much on the court. That they're trying to get that out of us. So I think it would be really big on communication and how good we can stick together throughout the year. What's tonight what you expected or better? Uh, I mean, I think it was expected. Uh, we kind of chemistry. chemistry uh, I mean, we we kind of came in knew that we was gonna win, so we just try to come out here and just do what Coach Cal wants, run the plays, uh, be able to talk defensively. So on film, we don't chew us out that much. Uh, so I mean, it was good that we got a, got out there and talked. Um, got a lot of plays. Uh, Quade called a lot of plays on his own uh, today, so Cal didn't have to do it that much. So that's all good chemistry. Knowing where we're at, we're on pick and rolls defensively and stuff like that. Knowing we got each other's back, so. I think it was good for us, and we just got to keep it up. What I said, he expected you to be the leading scorer for the season. What do you think about that? I mean, I, I, I can't really can't say much on that. Uh, I'm, I'm, Coach Cal really wants me to come out there and score the basketball. I think that's what the whole team really wants me to do, is be able to get to the free throw line, drive the basketball, shoot the ball. So, I mean, if I'm the leading scorer, I'm the leading scorer. But I just want to do whatever I got to do to win. Kevin, yeah, you came in here with such a great reputation. How do you keep such a level head during all this? I mean, just, I mean, growing up, I mean, I was never, I was never the one that showed or nothing like that. I'm just real humble. Uh, my parents taught me really well. Uh, I'm not the type that's going to yell or nothing like that. But through all this whole process, the recruiting process, this college process, I'm just keep level-headed because I know I got goals and there's more I can get to. And I know I can play better than what I am now. And that's what Cal really wants me to get to. Do you read any of this stuff that people write about you? Like you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, things like that? Uh, no, that not, no, not really. Uh, I read a lot of in high school, a lot of stuff like that, like articles and stuff. And I got here and Coach KP, uh, Kenny Payne, he got on me about that. He told me not to read none of that. If I read it, I'm running on the treadmill. So I'm definitely not reading no more articles. I don't read nothing like that. I mean, if I see a highlight of me, I'll, I'll look at it, retweet and stuff like that. But what people say about me, I don't really pay attention to none of that. I just listen to the coaches and listen to my mom and my dad. You're pretty good. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Cal said that that kind of stuff was poison. So is that what you Yeah, he yeah he tells us that every time. Don't look at none of those drafts, none of those people talking trash about you. None of that. That's just getting in your head. So don't even let it get in your head. Don't look at it. Don't do nothing like that. Just play your game. If you have a bad game, come talk to the teammates. Talk to Cal. I mean, the next game is gonna be better for you. Just be able to move on. I think that's something big on life. You just gotta be able to move on from the states. Sure, you're gonna ask about this, but Cal said you guys can't play a 40-minute game right now. Can you talk about the conditioning and where you think you're at with this? Yeah, he's right. Uh, we, we, some of us can't really play two minutes without getting tired of hands on the knees. So that's just something we'll get better at uh, tomorrow in practice. I know we'll do some more conditioning, uh, just getting ready for the season. Because I know those, those 40 minute games, those big time games, I mean, it's a lot of, we're the youngest team. So there's a lot of teams that are older guys that have been playing. So they can really got really good condition. So we just got to get better at it. I think it'll come along once the season comes on.
Can I talk about Quade's progression and being able to run the team and kind of how far he's come with it? Coming from high school, Quade was a guy that had the ball in his hand pretty much the whole time. Like, don't pass it at all, never pass it up. He's kind of a slow point guard, but when he got here, uh, first couple scrimmages, uh, Cal got on him about not passing the ball up, not playing fast, and as soon as he got on him, he, he changed his whole game, and it was real good to see, because we like to run the wing, so he likes to pass the ball up now, so it's good that he's playing fast, and he's a really good shooter. A lot of people don't know that about him, but he could really knock down some shots, and that's something Cowley wants him to do, but he's definitely playing really well right now. I'm like where he's playing, uh, the way he changed his game to playing fast, I think that's helping all of us. A couple more guys.